talk like that too, but yeah. Here's an update on the story we covered. Um, uh, this missing Houston we man. start with breaking news. Sources tell Fox 26 that the brother of Delano Burks, the missing man later found dead, has been involved in a violent crime involving their mother. Fox 26, it's Matthew Seedorf joining us live with the puzzling details. Good evening, Matt. Yeah, Caroline, police responded to this neighborhood in West Houston early this morning, and they believe that Delano's brother is accused of now shooting Delano's mother and her boyfriend. A tragic twist in a missing person case that captivated Houston. Sources confirming with Fox 26, the brother of Delano Burks, a missing man found dead last month in the Houston Ship Channel, is now accused of shooting his mother Friday morning and killing her boyfriend. We have. <laughs> I mean, Godfrey. You kind of look like you found out what happened to the brother. <laughs> We have one adult male in his, we believe in his 50s, that's deceased on the scene. We have another female who is in her mid-40s that has been shot numerous times. She's at a local hospital right now, so we're praying for her. Authorities now investigating what happened before the shooting. Charging documents confirm Stephen Burks now in jail for murder. Our suspect has had mental problems in the past and they were thinking that he was acting kind of strange today and somehow got a hold of a pistol. That family. For several weeks, Stephen Burke stood right behind his mother, pleading for Houston's help in finding his dad. Wow. So this might have been something that triggered some kind of psychotic break for him. You know? If you yeah, want I to think be... he probably killed his brother. Mm. Wow. And missing brother Delano. And I don't know Are if there's any is... mysterious surveillance video shows Delano stumbling and almost running from a bar in the Heights. The 26 year old's lifeless body found roughly a month later floating in the Houston Ship Channel. Please help us. Please bring him home. A death some have called suspicious. There may be a lot of information that could help this family have closure. Oh, I remember this. And to have case. comfort in this very difficult time. Police now trying to piece together Friday morning's deadly shooting at this family's home involving Stephen Burks. We don't know exactly how it occurred or what occurred, but we do believe he is the one that did the shooting and shot his mother and then shot uh, or shot the male and the mother. Not sure who and what or. Family members were too upset to speak with us on camera tonight. Sources tell me that that mother remains hospitalized in critical condition. We're live on the west side. Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News. Wow, that's such a fucking. That's, that, that's right. I, I remember we did that case, and I think somebody drugged him in the bar. Hmm. You don't I think it was a crazy what, brother? I wonder what caused no. the congresswoman to um, take interest in this. Og, did, did, did is there any, did what, when you first covered it? Was there anything that would would stand out to where the congresswoman would you know speak out on this one case? Maybe it was a possible down. lynching. It was a possible uh, lynching. Yeah, because also a, a black man was seen leaving a bar, and then he he got found a month later, face down in a no, canal. No, remember, remember, if he was when 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 there's when they don't have a suspect, it could it's possibly a be a white person. Like like if now if he if that guy had just got shot that night at the club by some son, then she would never ask for. That's what I'm saying. She, it, she you would have never seen her face. That's why I'm curious what she what triggered her. It was in a white neighborhood too. It was some yeah. some Irish club bar, and, uh, I think he was, and he was a um he was a swirler. Okay. Yeah, you know, yeah, but I think got he had a biracial kid. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, yep. He was hanging out in a white neighborhood, and he got, got and he ended up missing. Thank Since you. a social media split about a deadly shooting at a Houston taco shop, it happened last night at Ranchito Number no. Four. A masked man walked in, and you're looking at the video right now. Pay close attention. With a fake gun, and who's he... that? Is that a son man or is that on Vito? Sin or Santa? No, the fucking guy cleaning the air conditioning. Sun man. He moves like he moves sunny. That's a son man. Look at the pants. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know, a masked man walked in. And look and at how he waved the gun around. Yeah. Pay close attention. With a fake gun, and he pointed it at customers while taking their money and wallets. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh oh. Nice. Nice. Wow. Nice. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. 
that's what you're talking about, Marcy. That's what you. That's what you. That's what you. No, yep. Marcy. That's hey, I'm a, I'm about that too. That's that's exactly what needs <laughs> to happen. Hold on, hold on. I close on Marcy. For this. You got stones for this, Marcy. Yes, you do this. You could you could literally shoot this guy in his back. Absolutely. Okay, uh, Marcy, you go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Because he, because well, for one, you don't know if the gun is real. Because a lot of guys, if they use fake guns, they have the orange cap. They'll take it off, and, it, and you gotta ask yourself: Is it a gamble? Is it is it worth the gamble? Nobody. That don't even bring up if the gun's fake or not. That, no, what, what, no, no, what, what, what I'm saying is, it, what I'm saying is, even you don't find out it's fake till later on. But at that moment, you got to take it as if it is a real gun. And if some, and generally, and, and as things are going on right now, they'll rob and then at for a thrill, they just kill. They'll just kill people. Before they leave, just for, just for that, just for the fuck is it? His homeboy looks used to it too. He ain't even looking at him. He's just like, hey, yeah. I'm about to shoot someone else again." <laughs> it's it seems like it'd be easier to shoot him in the back. You don't hey, have to uh, deal with and him. Just to add to what Masi is hey. saying, also, you got to wait your turn in some of these self defense uh, shootings. Um, like he said, he could have, uh, even though he had a fake gun, or let's say he had a real one, he could have taking everybody's money, then come back and shoot everybody later. You wouldn't know. So you to see. put him down like this is is absolutely justifiable, uh, in my opinion. You even see the guy. In the don't top, let a rabid dog run because it's convenient. Yeah, and absolutely. The, yeah, and you see the guy in the top left, top left hand corner with his hands up, and he's got he has it pointed at him. So like it's like why? So you don't know if he's gonna just sorry shooting you no know, shooting people for, for, for fun. So, best, so yeah, I say the guy that he he uh, made the right decision to shoot him. I watched this clip several times on Twitter. It's he's waiting for an opportunity when the guy's not looking at him. He's trying to reach for it, and then the guy looks back over at him, so he kind of kind of hides. And when the guy kind of turns his back, that's when he pulls because he didn't want to pull it out and have the guy point the gun at him, start shooting. Yeah, so, he's gotta, yeah exactly. He's got to wait his he turn. Takes his moment. Absolutely. But. If it is a gun and it's pointed at somebody, that is that is uh, shooting a guy that is committing a crime in defense of another, and that is fully legal. And, yo, it doesn't matter if it's a gun or not. He's presenting it as a gun, even if he has his finger in his pocket. Like fuck him. It doesn't matter if it, if you know, he had his hand in his pocket doing like this with his finger. You, I, it doesn't. I, I, I don't care whether it's a gun or not. All I'm talking about is would you do that? Yes. Yeah. You, you, yeah. You, you yeah. He should have stood over. He should have stood over. You know, in, in the preservation the of life, absolutely. You know, it's the guy. He um he threw his he threw his stuff on the floor. He was trying to find yeah. the right opportunity for the for, to get the guy distracted so he can mm -hmm. shoot him. Yeah. But he didn't, but he wasn't able to because you know he he picked it up but he was still uh, he still was able Gino to but he could have got shot. A masked man walked in and you're looking at the video right now. Pay close attention, with a fake gun and he pointed it at customers while taking their money and wallets. One of those customers took action. You're looking at it right now. We stopped it there so you won't see the actual shooting. He can be seen on surveillance video at the restaurant pulling out his real gun. He shot and killed the would-be thief. Killed him. There are no charges at this moment. Police say they want the customer to come forward so they can make a statement in this case. Let's bring in our guest, Georgia Brago, owner of HTX Tactical, a gun shop, an attorney, and former judge, Charles Adams. So, oh, Charles, really? when you see that video, and of course, we stopped it, but he shot the guy as he was robbing people in the back, and many people are saying, in the back, that's foul play. But your thoughts on that legally? I think they're completely wrong. I think that video completely exonerates them under Texas law. You have the affirmative defense of self-defense. If you reasonably believe your life is being threatened by a criminal ex exerting deadly force, but you also have the affirmative defense of defense of third parties when you reasonably believe someone else is criminally threatening the lives of others. The only way this would matter is if the shooter knew that it was a fake gun or an airsoft gun. But if you look at that room of people, people cowering under tables, people, and you look at his individual behavior, it's not the behavior of someone that knows it's a fake gun. He was tactically waiting 
for an appropriate opportunity where that gun was pointed in another direction, another news station, I'm going to name them, claimed that the robber was leaving. And I think it ge engendered a lot of this. It's completely but false. If you if you were leaving, does it matter? Well, I think you, he had to know he was leaving. When that shooting occurred, he was still in the dining room, still threatening people with a gun, mm -hmm. and it was absolutely and completely lawful to the point that if this man still hasn't contacted the police and he has not contacted an attorney, I'll represent him for free because I know he's completely innocent. He's a hero. He's a good Samaritan. Thank God for Houstonians like him. Now, Charles, if he doesn't come forward <laughs> soon, but they have that video that's still of him, could he face any charges whatsoever? Well, you know, when a police officer shoots someone, whether lawfully or unlawfully, the other police officers investigating that shooting always give that per that officer time to talk to an attorney, time to go away, time to be by himself before he has to give that statement. I, I think this man was very intelligent in, in exercising his use of force and deciding to remove himself from the situation. And I think at some point he should talk to law enforcement, but he should only do that after he engages and talks to a lawyer. He needs to go find someone that he trusts to represent his interests. But if he doesn't come forward ever on his own, um will right what will he face i don't think he should face anything he didn't commit no no but what will he face under the law i, I don't think he will face anything mm -hmm. it, it was clearly that he is absolutely wow he doesn't even have to talk to police that's see that's something that i think that's those people, for, hold on hold on no, that's something that, right. those people that come from california those people that come from california that's coming to texas from california they, there's no way they're gonna stand for this shit they're gonna oh. vote this shit out. Good luck. Hey, hey, Texas, 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 Texas say, is gone. Sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say, uh, uh, what I can say, you know, uh, I feel like probably Texas and Florida, like you know, the golden conservative savior states, probably within 10 years, you know, those states will be completely California. I mean, because everybody's yeah. moving there, so there's nothing you can do. I doubt he, it. Oh, yeah, I, Texas I, will I, fall. Texas yeah. will fall in but 10 here's, years. Here's another thing, though. Like, I I don't like that, that he doesn't, that there's no investigation about it. Like, it's just like, because what if there was no video camera? What if there was no videotape? And it was just If there was no video camera, they would have to get an investigation. They also said a lot of the patrons left, too. There will be an they investigation. They didn't talk to Floss. They didn't talk to Cross. But he said but if he doesn't come in, it, 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 nothing will happen. They have no charges to file against him but if the, he but, doesn't come in. But what, when in a criminal case, if you're a person of interest and they don't have charges filed against you, they still want to speak with you. Self-defense isn't a criminal case. Damn. But it's yeah, a but it doesn't. Killing. No, but doesn't it have to be determined to be self-defense? No, that's the, that's no, the no. They notice, have to prove that the it guy isn't. said that. Notice the guy said in an affirmative self-defense. And that's what I was telling you, Ock. They have to prove that he was not shooting in self-defense. He has to do nothing. Oh, wow. And that's the difference between, say, Illinois and Texas or Kansas oh. or any of the other states that have that affirmative defense. Wow. And they actually recommend that you don't talk to police at all when there's a self-defense shooting, except maybe to say, hey, it's a self-defense shooting investigated as. But if it's Correct. at a restaurant with security cameras, you know that they get it on camera and you don't have to worry about that. So you don't have to talk to cops at all. You talk right. to your lawyer first and then they come over and say, oh, well, this is obviously self-defense. Uh, why are you are you going to try to charge my client or anything? Right. And watch them just squirm. And even if even if their lawyer contacts the police, that lawyer has no duty to tell police his name. Uh, I, I want to say in most of these cases, when we have somebody who uses their firearm in self-defense, usually they stay on the scene yeah. and they, talk, and, and they stay on the Correct. scene. And when that does happen, that is when the self-defender can tell the police, hey, look, I'm not under any obligation to speak to you. I will wait. I will take my Fifth Amendment and I will speak to a lawyer before I speak to you. Nine times out of ten. But how many times? But how many times do the police arrest them and then stick them in a room and keep them there for ten or ten or fifteen hours, just 
oh, we'll, we'll give you some water. We'll give you this. We may let you go to the restroom every once in a while, but we're just trying to break you down so you'll talk to us. It oh, does. But if, that, that, that does, but if that asking does happen. That's, that that's does an happen, illegal. But, that's exactly. an illegal arrest. It is illegal. Absolutely. It, it, that in does an affirmative happen. defense state. Yeah, that does happen. But in those cases, the self defender, um, majority of these guys that carry concealed, they know majority of the time they know the law. They know the law, they, right? They reason. They know. Hey, they need to keep their mouth shut. Yep. Uh, and and in any case where they have to use their firearm in self defense. And they know the games that the investigators are going to play on them. You just got to stand firm. Wow. Even though it's it's hard it's hard to get rid of those uh, tactics if you don't have a lawyer there, and they'll they'll stall and they'll, they'll come over and they they'll get in front of you and they'll talk. Oh well, this is our theory of the case, and wait for you to contradict them and thus waive your right to be silent. That's they why you like got to stay firm. To you. That's no. why you got to stay firm. But a lot of that shit Holy got God. taken care of in the Trayvon Martin case. Because the state of Florida, since they illegally arrested and charged him, had to pay for his entire defense mm. from that trial. Because mm. that so was an illegal illegal arrest from the Absolutely start. Absolutely exonerated. He did nothing wrong, and he did nothing wrong by leaving. He removed himself from a situation after trying to save the lives of everyone in that room. He's All a right. hero. George, let's bring you into this conversation. Should anyone attempt this? <laughs> well, look, I, I would have to say, first of all, this is a perfect example of why we advocate for concealed carry, legal concealed carry, why we push for citizens to carry uh, firearms and to practice. This guy, obviously, he knew what he was doing. He's practiced before. He, you know, he you didn't even see the stance and. Oh, yeah. And he waited know. for the right moment yeah. to shoot. You know, he didn't pull out his weapon as soon as the, the robber walked in and shot right then and there. You know, he waited till it was his time. And look, this is it. Let's do it, you know, and, you know, it, it went very well. So should everybody do it? You know, I can't say that. Could this have gone bad? It could have gone very bad. It could have. You know, thank God that everything went well. And uh, thank God the gun when was When that safe. first shot went through that guy's fucking torso, I know he was like, what the fuck is happening? Because I think the guy shot him like five or six times. He found out. He was like, what the fuck? Because he's walking around that thing with, he's, he's, He's the alpha in that room. He's got all the confidence. Yeah. You He's know, cocky as F. And then it's just like, boom, boom, boom. I mean, you know, those yep. are like from close range. I mean, this is very close. This is three feet. No, it's two feet. You found out, Ock. Yeah, fucked around and found out. Um, yep. But again, I say this all the time. Practice, practice, practice with your weapon. If you're gonna, if you're gonna carry a gun, practice. Take, take a class, go to, go to the range. Put some shots down range every month or so. Practice, practice, practice. Know your weapon. Know how to control it. Know how to handle it. So, Charles, if this guy never Ooh. comes forward, and we've seen the video, and somebody knows it, right? Uh, but if he never comes forward, what happens in this case? Well, I think eventually they're going to present it to a grand. I think they'll identify him. They have not just a piss picture, but they have the vehicle that he was right, driving. Right. I imagine they they're able to ascertain the license plate. I think they will absolutely identify him. At some point, he should talk to law enforcement, but he should only do that with a lawyer, right? But I don't think anything happens to him either way. I think that video is, is controlling, and while I think it's a tragedy when anyone's killed, and I hate that that robber lost his life, but I'm glad that he <laughs> lost his life instead of someone else. And George makes the, the perfect point, right? Guns are not magic wands. We saw the homeowner killed when he when he ran out and confronted the car thieves just, what, two weeks ago here yeah. in Houston. People sometimes think a gun just changes a situation if you're the good guy, but it doesn't. You have to practice. You have to learn that weapon, and you have to know it. And in fact, if you're not going to put that time in, get some pepper spray or get some other less than lethal. And you have to but be I don't smart think anything about legally it happens to this man. I think this man deserves a key to the city and possibly a mural. I think he is a, he's the kind of hero <laughs> that Houstonians are made of, and I don't think he has any legal liability. Now, George, I had a baton. I saw that, you know, and, 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 I, and I messaged you. I was like, don't tell me you're carrying a baton. We got to get you. Thank you guys for joining us here on The Fact. Wow. <laughs> anyway, well, well, kudos. Anyway, if, he carries, if he carries a baton because